Hello there YouTube, Reddit and everyone else. Welcome back to another tutorial. We're gonna keep this thing going, this vanilla JavaScript kind of videos, tutorials. And today I thought that, hey, the last tutorial was a bit more complex, so this time we're gonna do something more simple. And the effect that we're gonna do is basically, I, I threw this website up in like two minutes, so I apologize if it's not amazing. But you see this effect a lot of times on a lot of websites like Spotify or whatever where you scroll down and you see right here uh, some text is gonna like pop up. So it's gonna transition in nicely like that. So let's take a look at it again. And with this you can basically do like any kind of effects, not necessarily. Here we just make the text visible and it moves slightly up a bit. So like that. Uh, sorry about that message um, but yeah so let's get started and the thing we're gonna learn with this is basically you're gonna be able to manipulate uh, where you want this text to appear how and what position so yeah let's stop wasting time and get into this so let me pull up Visual Studio Code I'm gonna remove everything in the JS part and I'll try to explain a bit of what's going on here we're gonna remove this as well and this and then we can start there we go all right so basically what we have here is this is just a picture here but this is the section that we're interested in so just basically we have this intro here this big div the title appear effect which is this one and then we just have the intro content here with the intro text class and we just have some text here which is this and i also just added a picture here but it doesn't really matter wherever you have the content or wherever you have the picture the important thing is that we just need to select that class now in this example we obviously have the intro text so this so we want to do something with this so whatever you have in your code make sure just to select it and you should be good all right, so before we, we start with the JavaScript, the thing we're going to do with the JavaScript is basically add a class on top of this intro text. And whenever we scroll down and when we want the effect to happen, we're going to add this class. So in my case, I want the text to basically uh, fade in and then just maybe move a bit up. So. What I'm gonna do is firstly set the opacity at zero. So we're not gonna be able to see anything right now. And then I'm gonna be transform translate Y. And I'll basically just push the text down a bit. So when we apply the new class, it's gonna go back to zero. So it's gonna jump up a bit. Now for that to look nicely, of course, we have to add a transition so this is basically just gonna make it look like smooth right so I want to transition this let's say 0 0.5 seconds we can change this if we don't like the way it looks and we're gonna say all because we want to transition also the opacity and the transform and let's just do an ease in and out feel free to change that if you hate it um, all right so basically we have these applied and now this is the new class we're gonna add on top of it. So I'm gonna just name this intro appear. Feel free again to add better, better uh, titles to this because mine are super vague and not very good. But hey, it's a tutorial, so don't kill me, foobar. Okay, uh, so for this, we want the opacity at one because we wanna go back to to seeing the actual thing, right? And then transform, translate, and we're gonna go back to zero, just like that. And that should do the trick, actually. So there's nothing more we need to add to this. Now, if we really wanna see what happens, we can just add this manually and like this. So when we save, I guess we're not gonna be able to see this happen. But hey, okay, never mind. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see it in JavaScript, okay? All right, so let's start. So, firstly, we're gonna make a function uh, for this. Let's just say sc scroll appear or something like that. 
because that's what we want to happen, right? When you scroll, the text is going to appear. Okay, so a function, and now we want to select this intro text, right? So I'm going to keep the name the same, so I'm just going to make a variable, and I'm going to say intro text, just like that. Is that correct? Intro text, yeah. Then we're going to say document .query selector intro text. So we're just basically grabbing that element. All right, for the next part, we actually want to get the distance on uh, where this text is relative to the window. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to say intro, we're going to make a new variable, and I'm going to name this intro position. And for this, we're going to get the intro text, right? So the element we have up here, and we're going to access a function called get bounding client rectangle. Oh, it's lovely, always lovely to to play around with this, but I usually always forget the name of this, so never mind. And here we're going to access the top. So make sure to call the function here, and then we're going to access the top property. Now, if we console log this, I did this in the last tutorial, so if you saw that one, you should know what this does, intro position. So we're going to console log this, and then at the end, we're just going to invoke the function here, like that. So here we're going to see if we open up the console log. Uh, excuse these, these are from live server on VS Code. But we're going to see here 730 pixels. So that means that the distance from here on top of the screen till you get to the element is going to be 7, or how much was it? 780. Now, actually, I'm going to... Oh, okay, so this is applied, so you're not going to be able to see it here. <clears throat> but yeah, if we change this back for one second here to one, so it, just so we can see the text, we're going to see this. So 780, right? And if we get closer to the element, this number is going to go down all the way. If you touch the top of the screen here with the text, it's going to be around zero, minus five. Okay, pretty close. So basically, it's the distance between the element you have on the screen to the top of the, of the window. All right, so let's set this back to zero because we need to set it to zero. All right, so we have that. And all we need is just one more thing, and it's over, I promise. So we're going to say variable, and we're going to say screen position. And we're going to set this to height. Now, we want to add it like this because if you access the website, uh, on a different device, it's gonna have a different resolution, right? So you don't wanna put here like 1080, 1080 like this, or a fixed value of 720 or whatever, right? So we're gonna set window without inner height, which is basically just gonna get uh, basically how big your screen is, right? So in my case, it's 1080, because that's my, my laptop's resolution here. So that's it, now all we have to do is basically say if, so we're gonna make an if statement, and we're gonna say if intro position is smaller than our screen position, then we wanna select the intro text, right? Because this is the element we wanna add the class to, dot class list, which makes us able to access all the classes that are on top of intro text, dot add. And with this, we can add another class to the intro text. And here, we just want to say this new class, my dogs are going crazy outside, intro appear, intro appear, like that. And that should do the trick. Now we're going to have a bit of problems here. Let's just close this. Because right now, the effect, so since our height here is, inner height is 1080, it's going to appear the effect is going to start right at the end of the screen here. So if we scroll down, it's going to pop up as soon as, never mind, it doesn't pop up. Hmm, what's going on? Intro appear. Did I add that correctly? Intro appear. Intro appear. Okay, let's see what's wrong here. Oh no, it's not working. All right, refresh. <laughs> it's not working, you just refresh. All right, 
Oh, okay. I'm so stupid. It's not working because we need to add a listener here. Oh my God. Okay. So here's what we have to do. This function right now is not calling. It's only calling once, right? When the page loads, because we're invoking it directly. So it's not going to work. So basically what we want to do is when we scroll, we want to, we want to call this function every time we scroll, because this is not going to update like this right but if we scroll and we run the function all these values are going to update so this if statement is going to be checked every time we scroll so sorry about that <laughs> hey happens to the best of us right uh, so what we're going to do is just say window add event listener because we're going to listen for a scroll event here and comma we're just going to say scroll appear there we go oh we're not going to invoke it here like that there we go so now hopefully <laughs> now when we scroll uh, it should pop up did you see it popped up right at the end here because our height is 1080 now if we want it let's say we want to make the effect happen right here in the center well it's super easy you just have to split this up by two, so uh, divide it by two. So if we divide this by two, the effect is gonna happen right in the middle of the screen. So let's see. So right in the center. Now again, you can play around with this with these values. I like to keep it at around 1.2 or something, 1.3 1. maybe. So it's not too late because I don't like to see the text pop up way too late. So now if we scroll should pop up like right about there. Maybe we can do 1.3. So if we divide this by 1.3, then let's refresh again. And yeah, something like that, looks good. Now again, with this effect, you can pretty much, uh, this is not necessary. You can, if you want, like you can change the colors and everything. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, but like do something like, oh, let's go red here. And then we're gonna change the font size to 50 pixels or but <laughs> okay hey i don't know man maybe you're smart and you're gonna come up with something like super genius but yeah probably not a good idea to do this but <laughs> feel free to experiment let's just say that all right well that's it for me let's just remove this or if you're like if you want to annoy everyone I guess you can just change these values and you control everyone. So now if we scroll down and they want to read there, then you can make the text basically. Oh, I meant to do this. This, this is how like you can be super annoying. So they're like, oh, well, a cool picture. Oh, let me let me see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope everything was simple and clear. Again, not really super crazy pretty simple effect. If you have any questions about this tutorial, free f bleh, feel free to let me know down in the comments. If you like to see another kind of effect or something related to JavaScript or anything, basically, make sure to drop a comment and let me know and I'll do a tutorial on it, okay? Uh, thank you again so much. Uh, and yeah, look at this interesting bubble here. It's a pretty cool bubble. Okay, I'm rambling too much. Take care, guys. Love y'all. Peace.